Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, so I've gone for a 40 inch by 20 inch canvas. I'm layering a black base on this canvas. This is Lamp Black by Amsterdam. And I'm going to do a completely different design, a design that I've never done before. And I'm so excited for you to see how this turns out because I am in love with it. And I feel like I'm going to experiment more with this kind of design. So stay tuned to see how this progresses and how the process works. So I've layered my base. I've got three rings. I'm going to place those rings on the canvas. And then I'm going to put my paint around the rings and swipe. So this is a swipe technique. My paints are mixed with Oatrol, so Floatrol, and that is it. There's no other additive. Maybe just a dash of water to help with the fluidity. There's no cell activator and there's no Australian Floatrol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one ring at a time and I'm going to layer colours around the ring I'm going to pick up the ring and then I'm going to swipe the colours out. I'm going for a big blue design in the middle and I'm also using a green and a yellow with some gold and I'm hoping that it infuses all together and makes like a 3D design, a bit like an eye, but it could also be a bit like outer space. You decide. See how this design progresses and transforms and let me know what you think. The key to this design is not rushing at all. I've sped some of the video up so you don't get bored, but you can see most of the process. This is about taking your time I'm pouring the paints round the ring and then I'm going to gently lift the ring up. What I want to do is I want to maintain that black block of colour in the middle of this design and then I'm going to swipe from the middle out. I'm using paper towel and nothing else. I'm literally placing my paper towel on top of the paint just very gently. I'm not applying any pressure and then I'm just literally swiping the paint out to the edges. And I will repeat this as I work my way around the circle. As I'm working this design and using the swipe method by using just the paper towel on the surface of the paint and swiping it, I'm really being in that moment. I'm really enjoying just creating a piece. I've got no preconception about what I really want to achieve at the end. Of course, I'd like to achieve something that I like. But you know what? I'm just enjoying really feeling that paint movement. I'm really enjoying the paper towel, touching the paint and then swiping it out. I'm basically forming the design as I go. In my head, I've got an idea that I'd like to achieve. I do want to achieve like a 3D effect using the three main colours of blue, green and yellow. And then what I do to get that finer detail, I take smaller paper towels and just swipe all the way around the edge ensuring that some of the black colour from the middle goes across the blue because that's what gives it that movement that's what it gives it that depth so when you look at this piece and you're swiping out and you're dragging that colour across the base of the canvas that's what you're trying to achieve here you're trying to achieve that depth of a piece
I'm now going to work on the yellow section of this design. And I'm also using a dash of gold and a dash of orange. That's what's going to help me create different volumes within the color tones. It's going to help me create that 3D effect because I've got different tones of the same color group. So again, I'm just putting my paint around the circle. These are knitting circles. So I know that that's a good guide for me to maintain a circle as a central piece. And it gives me enough volume of paint around that edge to maintain, to allow me to use my paper towel and swipe around the edge to create the striking effect that you see here. I'm absolutely loving this kind of painting. I'm loving being in the moment and I'm really relaxed as I swipe. I'm just taking each swipe as I take it. So I will just do one swipe at a time, have a look and then carry on swiping around the circle. That circle base in the middle is kind of my guide. I know that that's where I want to really focus on. And if when you swipe, you feel you want just a little bit more color in a section, then that's great. That's fine, just add it in. Add a little bit more paint around the circle around the edge of that circle, take your paper towel and swipe outwards. And you can repeat that as many times as you want. If you want a little bit more color, then just add a few drops, swipe, and then add a few more drops if you wish. so excited to finish this piece but I think well I hope you'll agree it's a really striking design and it's creating that 3d effect that I'm aiming for what I do is I do step back and I look at the piece overall and I reflect and I just touch up some of the areas some of the areas that I feel that might need a little bit more of a swipe some of the areas that I feel might need a little bit more black within the blue lines. And that's what you can do as you work your way across this process. Step back and have a look at that detail. Have a look at that detail as you go. And you can always touch up different areas as you move across the design itself. So the final area is going to be green. There are different tones of green and I'm also adding the gold. The gold is the consistent colour throughout this design. There's gold within the blue and the yellow sections. But as you can see, I'm taking my colours, I'm pouring my colours around the circle and then I lift my circle up and swipe out. Remember, there's no need to rush with this. The paint that you put down on your canvas isn't going to dry out really quickly. It's going to allow you to really work with the paint that you've got on the surface of your canvas. And as you swipe out, don't forget to sometimes stop, look back, have a look at the bigger design. You're using this design as a one piece. So there are three different circles on there and you're concentrating on one circle at a time. But never be afraid to stop and step back and look at that whole composition because you may decide that you want to add a little bit more colour in one area. You may decide that where you're swiping, you want those lines to go over the original lines that you've already created. This is about looking at the overall composition, creating that 3D effect whilst balancing all those colours all at once within those circles.
There are so many different color combinations that you can do. And I've already got a stack of ideas that I'd like to try just using this kind of technique. I'm coming to the end of this piece, but I do step back and look at the overall design. I love this centerpiece and I'm so pleased that I went for the blue in the middle. But you know what, I can switch it up and use a whole range of different colors. I've already got another piece in mind that I'd like to do, but guys, you tell me, what colours would you like to see in this kind of design? And if you try this yourself, tag me in your post. I'd love to see what you create as well. Let me take you in now for a close-up of the wet version. And then I'll show you a close-up of the dry version. And it's not going to disappoint you. I can't wait for you to see how this has dried. I just really love all the details that you can see. I love the lines. I love the block colour in the middle of those creations. And I love some of the cells that are formed naturally by using the swipe technique. And the combination and the infusion of those colours. I love this. And let me know what you think. Maybe this isn't for you. But I really like how I've managed to create that 3D effect by layering the lines on top of each other, by using different size paper towels to create different size lines within each circle. And here's the dried result, proudly hanging up on my wall. It's not dry enough to varnish just yet. I've probably got about another week for it to dry. And then I will apply a high gloss varnish. I'll use a spray varnish to create that final coat. But I absolutely love the final design. I love the colours that I've used. I love the gold that goes throughout the whole design. I love the lines, the negative space and that block of colour within each eye. Is this the swipe of an eye? Is this outer space? Could this even be flowers? Let me know what you think about this piece. What do you feel from this piece? When you look at it, what does it say to you? I'd love to know what you think. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this different type of design that I've created. Let me know what colours you're enjoying at the moment and let me know if you'd like to see more of this type of design in future pieces. Thank you so much for all of your support. Have a great week and I hope to see you again soon. Take care everyone. Bye.